cities uh, are imperative in helping combat climate change because we're on the ground. We're connected to the people who live with us. We're connected to the properties, uh, our natural resources, etc. And no one better than people who live in the cities uh, really understand uh, the, the true impact of climate change and can have such a direct connection and impact on mitigating climate change. In cities like Chicago, 70% of the emissions here in the city come from energy used in existing buildings. So it's a great place to start when you're trying to help the city think through ways to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. And when you do a building retrofit, you actually create a stream of revenue that helps to pay for the project. So retrofitting is such a great opportunity in my opinion because it's really something that's good for the economy. It's good for economic development. It's good for homes so people can afford to stay in their homes. It's good for businesses so they can reduce their bottom line costs and hopefully have a better profit margin. Uh, and it's good for the environment while we're at it. Cities have the unique opportunity to implement actual projects and programs to make a real difference in the fight against climate change. A lot of the work that we have done to date is in building retrofits. So the city has the goal to retrofit 9,000 commercial buildings by 2020 and 400,000 units of residential by 2020. I think, again, working with the Clinton Climate Initiative, we've really seen uh, the potential of impacting uh, people right on the street, right in their neighborhoods, and uh, looking at how people are communicating uh, in their communities and with businesses, as well as engaging people in a meaningful way.